Sam here with JBugs.com. We're in the middle of replacing the heater channel on our 1971 Super Beta restoration at a friend of mine's shop, so we can show you all the process. Our last few videos dealt with cutting out the old heater channel and the other areas affected by the rust. And with those sections repaired and replaced, we can get to installing the new heater channel. Before we start, we'll make sure to say, wear appropriate protective gear, work in a safe and well-ventilated environment, and only perform work that is well within your capability. Cutting, grinding, and welding can all be dangerous, so make sure to use the necessary precautions. We start by lifting the new heater channel into the body, starting at the rear and then into the front. We note a few places where we'll have to make adjustments. One is the front edge of the carpet gripper strip at the front of the door jam. Another is the back edge of the door jam. And we note that the front holes at the bottom of the firewall don't quite line up. So we drop the heater channel down and we cut the gripper strip back just a bit and we open up the holes in the heater channel with a unibit. We check the fit again and see that the edge of the rear door jam still doesn't line up. So we drop the channel and grind back the edge of the door jam. We check the fit of the body again and when we're happy with the way it lines up at the body, we move the heater channel to the chassis and make sure that all the bolt holes line up to the pan. With the fitment confirmed there, we move the chassis under the body and with the heater channel set in place and held securely to the body, the body and heater channel are dropped down to the pan. We install a few bolts into the heater channel through the pan and we thread a few body bolts into the chassis as well to make sure that all the bolts line up. Next, we measure the door opening at the bottom side of the passenger door and compare them to the driver's side. The opening is a touch longer than we'd like, so we loosen the bolts at our body brace and use a ratchet strap to pull the door jam together so the measurement matches the passenger side. We measure the top to bottom of the passenger side and use another ratchet strap to pull the body down on the left so the measurements match. We tighten the body brace, check our measurements one more time, then we use a hammer to gently tap the bent sheet metal at the bottom of the door jam into place, and we weld the front door jam to the heater channel. We remove the body brace and use one more ratchet strap to pull the rear door jam into the heater channel. Then we weld the rear of the door jam, the inner quarter panel, and the rear cross member to the heater channel. We use a wire wheel to remove the paint off the heater channel below the quarter panel and weld a few seams across the bottom every inch or so. Inside the car at the front firewall, the heater channel fit is massaged into place with a hammer and a punch and welded into place. We move to the front left quarter panel and weld along the lower body seam and fill in the few spot welds we drilled out earlier. Finally, we move to the rear fender well and weld into the heater channel to the rear cross member there. We use a flap disc to smooth out the welds and clean up the splatter and sheet metal. Then we go back over all the seams with self-leveling body seam sealer to give a weather tight seal. And we can get to work on repairing some other areas of rust on our beetle's body. Coming soon, we'll cover repairing our right rear quarter panel, welding up the body molding holes, and repairing our rear luggage shelf. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Make sure to click the like button below, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and when you need parts for your vintage VW, head over to jbugs.com.